Hello everyone and yet again welcome back to my channel. Today I have four, four formal dresses that I would like to show you. It may be a little bit too late for prom but you can also use these to prom. Now these dresses have cost $150 each. I have four for you. Um, it's quite hot outside so I didn't want to like do too many dresses. Um, I have two dark and two white dresses. So how about we just get right into it. Before I go on with the dresses, please subscribe to my channel and meet me on my socials on Twitter and on Instagram. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first dress I have, the boy gala dress, a formal dress in this very, very white. Let's see what I can, with these blondes here, have a very nice, I feel like this is kind of a wedding dress -y kind of feel to it. I have never been married, so I don't know, but with short sleeves and if I can show you, it's pretty long. I think this is going to recur to me that I that I might have to take some um, some high heels on. Unfortunately, I only have black shoes, but yeah, this might be a little bit too long for me. But it feels very nice. The material is very nice, nicely made. No loose threads or anything. Um, this is a size M. So yeah, how about we just try this on here. I'm laying it here so it doesn't get... And we can go straight to the next one. I'll try them on as we go. Um, then I have a blue dress. I'll show you here the picture of it. Now, this has a lot of back here. Also has blondes, is a long sleeve. Oh, need to be careful. So, this is from Misguided. And this is the Misguided Bodies Bright Maid dress. So, yeah. Also a very long dress, very much bag and has a little button here. And the front, they have these for their, I guess it's because it's a more expensive dress, so they have this. If you take this off, you can return it. Um, it's quite long as well. I don't know if you can see it, but it has some sort of slit here, so it makes it more flowy. Um, and it goes almost straight here and then goes out a little bit. So this is also a dress that is very long. So um, I hope these fit and I hope I'm not too small for these because you can see quite long. So yeah. I'm just laying them over there so they don't get dirty or anything. Then I have, a, have another white dress. All of these has blondes on them. Similar to the other one, this has another pattern here. A little bit longer sleeves than the other one. And then on the back, this has a back, so you can see. A little bit more flowy in the arms. And I love the fact that they have these bands here, so you can distinguish what your waist looks like in it. Um, also very long. This kind of flow, it has two layers, which is quite nice. The blonde is here and then a white material underneath. Um, this is from Boat again, or what else you call it. Um, and this cost, actually, this one is costing $200 on Zaveno. So yeah. Very, feels very nice material. No, yet again, no threads or anything. So I'm, looking, I'm excited to check this out. The 
last dress is a, also a navy blue kind of dress. Almost similar to the other one as well. Has a nice slit here and in the back. And it's not the same dress. <laughs> I checked, it's not the same dress. Um, it has, here in the front has a slit so you can take your leg out if that's what you want. But this is more straight up and down. It has these drills back here for your little butt. So um, how about we just try these on uh, when I get a drink afterwards because this is quite hot. It's not the best day to actually film this, but I wanted it done. So here are the first dress tried on here. Let me just, um, hopefully you can see everything now. I can't zip it up. It, the zipper is stuck. Um, it feels very nice, feels very flowy. There's some high heels, of course, it's a little bit better. I don't have any wide high heels. So it feels flowy and it feels a little bit warm actually, even though it's, I love the details up here. And of course I have a bra underneath. A little bit of a shame that I can't zip it up. It would be quite well. Um, I love the band that it sits quite here. So you do have a waist and it looks like it goes out a little bit. And just the fact that there's two layers don't seem too hot and it's it's a little bit of a heavy dress so this is for prom or formal I would even say that you could actually buy this as some sort of wedding dress if it if you don't want it to be too formal but I actually like this dress very much um, so yeah it feels quite well I normally don't like that much white on me, but this is this is nice. This is quite nice too. I would have loved for it to maybe it's a bit too small for me. I have very broad shoulders, so that's probably why. So yeah, very nice dress. Feels quite quality. It has good quality, yeah. It really does. So so here we have the second dress, which yet again is too small for me up here. Um, and as you can see, I have lumps and bumps everywhere. So this one requires shapewear. Um, it's, I'm a bit sad about this because the dresses so far have been too small for me on, um, at least on my shoulders. Um, they fit quite nicely on um, on the thighs and stuff, but and I love the back detail. If I didn't have a bra underneath, it would be quite nice. I love the fact that it has a zipper here. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I can't, there is a small button here on the back. I'm not sure. I think I will rip it if I, because my arms up here are a little bit big. But it's a very comfortable dress. It is, this is very comfortable. But a tight dress, so you have to wear like shapewear and stuff like this and this. I wouldn't go out in this with no shapewear. So maybe a size up and I love the fact that it goes down here and flows a little bit. And of course has a small trail behind you. Um, so yeah, I love I love the details and this is not itchy in any way. This is not itchy. You can't see that I have a white bra underneath. Only if you look at the back, of course. I would probably have a bra without straps. So the bag will be more detailed in some way, but yeah. Unfortunately, this is too small for me up here. Maybe I should have gotten a size up. It's difficult to know with these 
with these former dresses. My butt looks kind of good actually in this. I love the fact that it goes out here. It's just not going down and then out. It goes down here and then flows. So, it feels very comfortable as well. It's not too warm. This dress, I absolutely love it. I think it's quite well made. Feels very nice. Feels like the, kind of like the other one, but has a bit more. Again, I can't zip up here in the back because I have too big shoulders. Um, and the zip here, I have a zip here, and then I have that connects these two. And um, I can't, no, I can't get it. I can't get it up. Um, so unfortunately, it's also too small. Next time I try these FOMO dresses out, I will go <laughs> one or two sizes up because, well, yeah. I love the fact that it flows, and if you have high heels on, you don't have this height. I must say, in this one, I do look a little bit pregnant, maybe. I'm not pregnant. Um, I look a little bit too broad, maybe here, but I love the fact that it goes in here and then out. Um, but I feel like I have a little bit too big of hips. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the only thing, um, except for the size, of course. So I love the details here. I love that it's, it's very flowy up here. Just, just a shame with the back because it would have been quite nice to tie these up together and then having a round spot on the back. But very flowy, has two layers again. So yeah, just a very, very nice. <laughs> So yeah, that was dress number three. Let's go to the last one. This is a stunning dress on. And guess what? It's not too small for me up front here. So I can actually get them to connect. I love the details with here. It doesn't show too much boob. And I love the flowiness of this. And this is not itchy at all. Here is the bag, of course I have a bra underneath, but stunning, it's a stunning dress and I love the fact that it has, so you can have like a, a leg out, which would be so great with high heels, let me just try it out. Just for last, you can have a leg out. And it's maybe a bit too long for me. I would I think I would have um I would have this on the floor, maybe. I would I would also walk in it I guess. But I love yet again that, that it doesn't go straight here but has a flowiness. Um and the slit is placed so you can't see your underwear. So you can have your leg out like this. So yeah, all in all, very stunning dress. This is actually my favorite. Of course, you can have shapewear underneath this. Um, I think that if I got a little bit taller with the heels on, I guess that if I would go a size up, it would be too big for me up here, but yeah. Shape wire underneath and then done. Now this was the last dress. As I said, I only had four dresses. I thought <laughs> not so smart to have more than that because it's pretty hot outside and it's not that late in the day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope <laughs> that will give you some inspiration on that me as a size medium, I have to recount the shoulders for my sake. It fitted quite well in the legs and quite well in, I would use shapewear, but I don't have any uh, right now. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video of me 
doing something else, uh, like four more dresses and stuff. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. And please subscribe to my channel, follow me on my socials and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.